trapped and we would not have long ones if we just listened to him. So I say all this to say, when God has given you your purpose, it is a miracle. It is a complete commitment to what God has called you to do. You can't run away from it. I hope you don't say no to it. Say yes. <laughs> I do. And be completely, I will do. How about that? I will do what you've called me to do. You know what I mean? And it's not, I'll do it until a certain time. It's an eternal thing. It's not, it's not on a timeline. And okay, I'm going to do what you want me to do from here to here. And I'm going to just do what I want to do right now. No. It's eternal. God has called you for purpose. It's just an eternal purpose. Yeah, so at the end of the day, the purpose is for you. Um, you must be committed to your purpose. And let's go to Genesis 2 23 and 25. 23 and 25. Just to kind of take me back off of that. It's not just, I mean, yes, purpose is amazing, but it's not just purpose. This is like daily, every life, like if I drop a pencil, you tell me to pick the pencil up, like you, do, you don't just, like, this everyday life, simple stuff, you know, because, again, like, just say I drop the pencil, I don't pick it up, say someone, you know, I mean, God forbid it, but someone, you know, runs into me, like, because it runs, they don't see me, that could have been avoided if I would have been down and picked the pencil up, like, you just... Okay. Oh yeah, I was just, like you just like when he tells you to do stuff, you really gotta move because you know that could, your life, your purpose, whatever it can really depend on the obedience of what you do. Okay. <laughs> and that's another thing that I'm gonna keep saying. Obedience is immediate. Like it's an immediate thing. You can't say, okay, I'm gonna be obedient next year. <laughs> no. I'm gonna be a beat right now. Because I know I love that song. So there's this thing, right? And it's basically basically the saying that there are other people. There are people. And there's salvation on the other side of your obedience. So like if you're not if you're not obedient to Christ right now, think of all the people that your words may have saved. Think of all of those souls that may have been saved if you just had been obedient to Christ. He might call you to be a teacher. He might call you to be a pastor. He might call you to be a teacher. Whatever he calls you to do, and you're just like, see, Lord, I got this dream, right? But it's not your will. But I still want to do it. No. Like, all those people and their souls are dependent on your obedience. You have a responsibility. Be obedient to Christ and the purpose that He's given you. Okay. So, Genesis 2 25. And Adam said, and This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called away. She was taken out of the earth. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall we cleave unto his wife, and they shall be no flesh. And they were both men, and his man was left for that Okay. Now, uh, trying to see the four things, but I am pretty sure you were like, Daniel, or for this right here. Um, which to me is just like um, he identified he as his wife right then and there. He knew he was married to her. He didn't say, um, I think so. I Maybe think she kind of looks like she looks like him, but I'm not sure that's my wife. No, he knew. And that's when you're saying this is your purpose. You're going to know your purpose when you see it. It's not like, okay, I don't know if this is my purpose or not, you know, it don't feel right. No, <laughs> it's complete. Okay, I see it, and this is what you saw me do. This is my purpose. So at the end of the day, what I'm basically trying to say is, is um, you will know your purpose. You don't have to search. You don't have to... Try to find it. It will, it will be real. And when it's results, you will know. Trust me, you will know what your purpose is. It's not. It may be scary at first, because trust me, it's nerve wracking. It's like, wait, but I'm only 22. How am I going to do this? But 
Cabo provides what you need to do in order to be prepared. You know what I mean? You will provide. You will provide. You will provide. See and provide. So you see that you get to where you're going to get to. And you'll provide the needed necessities. The necessary necessities <laughs> for your purpose. You know what I mean? If you need cabinets, you provide you with it. If you need a louder speaking voice, well, I need it. will provide it. If you need, like, just. What is that? Bold and shoes? Yes. Boldness. If you need boldness, she'll give you that. If you need courage, she'll give you that. It's just like, don't doubt that you can accomplish the purpose of that you doing. You don't doubt the purpose of that you If it was meant for someone else, it was meant to you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> don't abort your purpose. Don't divorce your purpose. Stay committed. Stay strong in the word. Um, trying to move forward in your faith. Move forward in your faith. Move forward in your purpose. If you were ready, I think you're not. Don't mind that one over there making weird faces. <laughs> but, but just be strong, courageous, got this. Excited for you. Don't mind him. See? I guess I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, but yeah, so stay on course, keep your purpose, don't let it go. Yeah, yeah. don't get crazy. Think of your purpose. Think of your purpose as you're ready. You would never want to lose it, right? You want to keep it on the wedding ring. Yeah, just you want to keep it on forever. You never want to lose it. You never want to let it go. It means something to you. It's a part of who you are, right? Same thing with your purpose. Yeah. 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 You are. And when you think about the ring, when you think about the ring, it's like, you know, a circle, never ending. Hmm. Hmm. A circle. And, and I, I think I'm getting it. But yeah, so you know, that's what the ring represents. Um, it's a never ending bond between you. We're talking about purpose between you and God. We're talking about marriage. We're talking about man and wife. In God. In the third day. Well, the first one. But, you know. <laughs> you can always count on God when you feel like it's getting hard. Don't ever think you can't count on God. It's always there. And by calling, when we say the simple. You know, I'm about to say this. Pray. It's no more than talking. What I used to do, I used to just, like, I used to get really upset a lot. I can't believe that. I used to get really upset a lot. So, 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 I used to, like, stay up. I was, like, up at night, and I was just, like, talking to them, like, and I was upset, so like I was like upset and I'm like, you know, why is this happening and all that stuff? Like that's that's really like a beckoning on God calling on. Not like, you know, just like you don't gotta go to wherever to a specific place. But just like you can call in your head, your heart, your something, in your heart. This is so yeah, you just um Talk to him. Like we're talking to him. That way. That way. Talk to him. 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 Talk to don't, don't think it's too lofty, it's too high, it's too hard. Like, like she just said, it's just a it's just, it's good breath. <laughs> just like sometimes, like, it's, it's so true when you have nowhere to say. Say Jesus. 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 Say J
little Even if you don't say anything, he knows her. You know that he he, he feels something. Like he feels your pain. For some of you who have children, they always say this. Like you know, when you have to do this for your children, they say it hurts me even more than it hurts you. Like you know. When I just put my knees and sometimes it, you know, hurts me more than it hurts you. But it's like, you know, I don't want to, well, I don't know why I talk to you. But I don't want to yell at you, but, you know, you don't listen. I got to let you, got to get you to listen because when you're older in the world, you got to know that thing. You know, like, that's what God is saying. Like, I need you to listen because there's going to come a time when you need this information. If you don't disappoint like, or try to test your discipline child when you're younger than you get older, it's a really hard uh, discipline in the background. Then it's going to be tough for them to be disciplined in the first place. And you kind of even relate that to your walk with Christ. Um, you know, it's better to get disciplined when you're, you're, you're still getting stages of your faith before you get deeper because. And it just gets harder for you to do certain things, to, to concentrate, to do, do the faith, basically daily life, you know, walking out with God, you're not really disciplined. Yeah. 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 I got messages with this person and you have to use it and understand that what God is saying. Like, take it from me. I'm just like, you just have to take it from me. Like, like, yeah, no, it's just. I just know all, like I know about that. It's like very important to be disciplined because you're not, you just confuse most of the time. What am I doing? I don't know what to do. I have no clue what she just said. No. Because I'm not disciplined to hear that. Kind of, no, I kind of said, like, just like in school. Just, just, like, school. Just, just like in school. I mean, we're all out. If we're not disciplined, we're not. Is that even right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Looking good. Yeah. so it's just like your purpose. Like if you're not using your purpose, what are you going to be doing in your life? Uh, you need to fish without water. Yeah. You know? You're not in the water. It's like you don't know. You need to be in the water. Jump in the water. I just got to jump in the deep. Yes. Stop I don't know how to jump in the water. You just gave me. We weren't even there. So I'm just, no one was there. I mean, I was busy. I'm, 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 no, so I was just like, I don't know what you're talking But I know what you're talking about. Anyway. All right, all right. Anyway. We gotta, we gotta wrap up. Okay, we're going to wrap up. But, anyway. Um, just like to kind of uh, wrap this up, maybe just a little bit probably out Just like how she said, jump into the water. Yeah, just like she said, jump in the water. Um, 